Liz McLaren and live from her hometown of Liverpool. Good morning to you, Liz. Good morning. Yeah. Do you know it's great news for Atomic Kitten fans because you, Jenny and Natasha have reunited. You're all back together. We are, yes. We are, actually. <laughs> it's all very exciting. It must be really good because it's, it's great to have you all back. And you will be here in the ET studio next week to perform your version of Scylla Black's 1964 tune, Anyone Who Had a Heart. Now, why was it that you chose this song to do a cover? Well, um, first and foremost, it's because it's for the number one albums, uh, the number one album. So it's, it was a number one here. It was recorded by a uh, Liverpool artist, Cilla Black, and we just thought it was quite in keeping with some of the songs we've done before. And we performed it yesterday just as rehearsals for the show on uh, tomorrow. And it was everyone was getting goosebumps, so we're all really excited about it. It sounds fabulous. It if sounds we do say so myself. <laughs> yeah, it does sound fabulous. And in fact, mm -hmm. we've got some exclusive footage of the new video, so let's have a look at that as well. Come look at me and know that I love you. Anyone who ever dreamed could look at me. It sounds great, it looks great, and obviously that's all for the number one concert, which you mentioned there, which takes place tomorrow in Liverpool, celebrating yes. Liverpool's musical heritage and the fact that it's European City of Culture this year. I tell you what, Liverpool's the place to be tomorrow night. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it usually is always the place to be, but um, yeah, everyone, everything's so excited. The hotels are all sold out. I think there's only like a couple of hundred tickets left for the show. It's really, you know, it's going so well and everyone's so excited. It will be great. Well, for anyone who can't get a hotel room or who can't get a ticket, they can actually buy the mm -hmm. album, the number one album, after the concert. But we've got to ask, who else is performing tomorrow night? There's loads. We've got um, people like um, Elvis Costello, Ray Quinn, Claire Sweeney, The Farm, uh, Atomic Kitten, Eaton Rose, loads and loads of people. Oh, it sounds brilliant. And you will be performing the song as well next week on the show, so we're looking forward to that. It must be so nice for you all to get back together. When was the last time you performed together? Um, well, the last time we did a video was like four years ago, but the last time we actually performed together was uh, last New Year in Hong Kong. We did a big Nokia show there, and that was absolutely fabulous. But um, it was so strange at the video because it wasn't strange. We were just all got on with it and we're like, great, yeah, OK, that was good. Nice shot. OK, let's do the next one. It's all back to normal, exactly. And congratulations as well to Jenny, who's just given birth to her little boy, Casper. But I've got to say, I mean, she's been in all the papers this morning. She was out partying with Kate Moss, so I hope she's recovered for tomorrow night. She's very much recovered. We all had dinner last night, and um, so we're all settled down in Liverpool, you know, rehearsing. We've got a lot to do before tomorrow night, and um, she's very much recovered, yes. Yoo-hoo, lucky for you. All right, Liz, thank you very much. Good luck tomorrow, and we'll see you next Friday. Thank you. See you then. OK, now, depending on...